Hello everybody, this is Allie, your beauty guru. Thank you for visiting my channel. Today I am going to show you what I purchased at the Sephora Rouge Spring Sale. I haven't had a time that I can remember in so long where I made enough of a purchase at Sephora that I had to have their large bag. So this was a, a big purchase today. And what I kind of did was just um, plan everything that I use on a daily basis and that I would be running out of in the near future or at least in the next six months and I purchased those items. Um, I did get a couple of fun new things but it was mostly just a replenishment of my current cosmetics. And I spent quite a bit of money but I feel like it was still a good move because I'm just replenishing the stuff I use every day and I was able to get 15% off. Um, but I did also add a couple of fun things because, you know, I'm getting 15% off. It's a good time to try something. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to pull out is just the freebies that they were giving away today. And I honestly don't care about them, so I should have just told them not to put them in my bag, but I will find somebody in my life who is excited about these things. So there is a Sephora Rouge bag, it's like a little clutch, and it's made of PVC, of course. I'm sure I could find some use for that. I'm going to take the tissue out because that is helpful to no one. I actually prefer that they don't put the tissue in. Uh, typically I'll say something just because I don't want to waste it. Uh, it's nice and I feel like it makes the package look classy, but it's also wasteful. Um, obviously. The receipt. It was a mile long. <gasps> okay, so I also got this. I always do that. I always like seeing when I'm talking about makeup items, which is kind of embarrassing and it's definitely not cute singing, so I should probably stop that. But they also gave me this little packet of samples and I honestly didn't care about these either. Um, I just feel like packet samples are really inconvenient and so I don't like to use them. And rather than be wasteful, I usually just don't take them. Uh, this is a sample of the Buxom Big Tease Mascara, so maybe I'll give that a try. I historically have always had good luck with Buxom Mascaras. I think they're really good. Um, I don't remember. I think it's just called Buxom Lash, the one that I really like. It has like a spiky brush, and it just volumizes and separates really well, so I'm actually excited to try that. Then, garbage. And the last thing they gave me for free was this little card holder. And I will find somebody in my life who has need of this because I do not. Uh, the little lips on it are kind of cute though, as you can see there. So I'm gonna start with the kind of like boring stuff. Um, this is my Hourglass Primer. This is the Veil Primer and I use this almost every day. I got the biggest size available because that is by far the biggest value, but is $75. So that hurt my wallet and my budget a little bit, but I was happy to get 15% off of that. And this size usually lasts me six months or more. So I do get some good use. Uh, so it does, it does last me a long enough time that I, I feel like it's worth spending the money. Plus, this is the only primer that I've ever used that actually controls my oil and really does its job. So I am the biggest fan of this. And if you haven't tried it, I recommend going to Sephora and picking up the little travel size. I think it's $20 or so. You get a fair amount though to get an idea about whether you really want to invest in it or not. So I think that's a good thing to do. Next is my daily moisturizer. I've used many over the years. This is the Ula Henriksen Sheer Transformation and I believe I've talked about it before. There really is nothing special about this except that it's lightweight and it doesn't make my face greasy, so I quite like it. 
I could get something with an SPF in it, but I also like to use this at night from time to time. So I just rely on the SPF of my makeup, which I know is very insufficient. You're supposed to add SPF every single day. So don't do what I'm doing and please wear sunscreen. So this next product is the Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics. And I love this eye cream. I actually have received two of the two of the deluxe size samples from Sephora, so I was able to really try it out. Oh my gosh, allergies are killing me, guys. Um, this one is fantastic because you can really, here's the box up close. You can really feel it working. Uh, I believe it has caffeine in it, which helps depuff and kind of tighten the eye area. And it's also blue tinted, which helps kind of illuminate that area as well. So. If you haven't tried it, go get a sample. I definitely recommend it. I was very excited to be able to purchase the full size. Next is the Dior Forever Undercover Foundation. I was like, oh shoot, I didn't really even look to make sure I grabbed the right foundation. I just made sure I grabbed the right color, but we're good. This is the newest of their foundation and I just recently had tried a sample and am in love with this foundation. Um, it is pretty weightless, but it covers beautifully and it looks so natural. It looks like skin versus my double wear. And I don't necessarily think I need that much coverage, but I wear it because it's one of the only foundations that stands up to my oily skin. So this one is great because it's a little more natural, but it still does a good job when it comes to controlling the oil. Okay, the next product is my last um, routine everyday product, and that is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Creme Brulee, which is light 2.5. I fluctuate between that and vanilla, um, but on my skin throughout the winter, vanilla can be a little too fair. So this is my skin color. Awesome concealer. I don't use it under my eyes anymore because it is heavier. I just use it on blemishes. Now we get to get into the fun new products. So the first of which is the First Aid Beauty Radiance Peel Pads, Facial Radiance Pads. These were $30 and they come with 60. I am such a fan of the Dr. Dennis Gross, um, why is it that I always forget the name of something when I'm talking on camera? So just the, my, the Dr. Dennis Gross Peel Pads. I love those, but they end up being like over a dollar each. And if you're using them three times a week, that is just crazy. So I wanted to try these because I've heard that they're very similar and you just get so much more for your money. So we'll give those a try. My skin's actually peeling again because of the retinol I've been using. So I'm going to try using those tonight to kind of slough off some of that dead skin. And I like to mix I like to do retinol one day and then a peel pad the next day and kind of balance that out. Uh, the next item I've had before and I think I gave it away or something, but this is such a lovely product. This is the Dior Lip Maximizer and it's going to be so hard to see this packaging because, ooh, because it's so reflective. but. This is just a staple. They sell so much of this stuff and it's really pretty. I love the way it feels because it has that tingly feeling that's supposed to help, you know, irritate and plump your lips. And um, it just gives you a really light pink lip color. Plus the packaging is just beautiful. So I'm excited about that. I need to find a new way to say that I'm excited about something. I'm always excited about everything, but it's true. And then I got the Fresh Sugar Cream Lip Treatment in Blush. I put this on the other day and love the color and I love the texture of it. It's just a little thicker without being sticky. I really enjoy the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatments and the little stick, the two but they're so soft and I never thought that would be a problem, but it is because if you apply too much pressure, then you're like mushing it 
and if it's more than 60 degrees outside it will just melt and get all gushy in the tube so I thought that this would be a good way to um, deal with that and not have to worry about it getting melted and goopy the next to last item thank you for hanging with me there's a lot in here I wanted to get a Marc Jacobs lip gloss and I knew they had this little set it has four babies uh, but I didn't know if I was going to get one full size, not get one at all, or get the four minis. I've always loved his lip gloss, uh, and for some reason, I've just never decided to purchase one. So, this set was great because you get four for $30. They are a little bit smaller, but that way you get to try the various colors. And they have that cute Marc Jacobs packaging, so this is a really fun set. And I thought it might be nice to have variety instead of having one full size lip gloss, um, just one color to choose from. The last product is the one that I'm the most pumped about and also I was the most on the fence about purchasing. So this is the new Fenty Beauty Fairy Balm. And again, this really bright packaging is going to be hard to pick up. This is so cute, I have to show you. So she just came out with um, some body products for spring. She has the liquid body lava, a brush to blend it in with, and then this fairy balm. And it comes in this pretty packaging. I've actually been looking for a little body shimmer lately. Um, I use the Vita Liberata body products and I love them. They tan. They kind of blur, that's what it's called, as body blur. And once you put that one on, it's basically waterproof. But I kind of wanted something that was a little less intense um, so I could just quickly like and then not worry about it. So this one doesn't necessarily bronze, but it's going to add a little bit of like shimmer and sparkle and I think with a little bit of a tan, it will be so pretty. Look how pretty this is. It's this giant pink puff, perfect for a vanity. And the product is actually pre-filled. Ah! The product is pre-filled in the puff. So it just looks like this. And when I was making my purchase, the girl at Sephora was really helpful because like a normal powder, I think you're used to seeing people just like, look how big it is, this is huge. I should like hang it off of my purse and then have it just like spray glitter everywhere. Um, the girl was saying that instead of using it like a traditional powder poof where you press it on, you actually just rub it and then it releases the product and it helps it. Uh, so it releases the product and it helps it stick better. Okay, we're just trying this as we go, and when I was rubbing it, it was really cute, but nothing was coming out. So I had to like hit it to get the product out, and then rub it in. But when I rubbed it too hard, the product just dispersed and went away, so I'm gonna have to play with this. Um, but the effect is really pretty. But the effect so far is really pretty, so let's see if we can pick that up just on the back of my hand. It's a pretty fine shimmer, kind of peachy with a goldish, pinkish undertone. Yeah, I think that will be just so pretty across the chest through summer, but this was the most fun, unusual, new thing that I was excited about. But uh, one of my points of hesitation was the price, and I'm kind of embarrassed to admit it but it was $42 and for a really pretty acrylic puff ball filled with glitter, it really should have been $25 maybe. Like that's like the fancy price. So the only way I would have purchased this is with the 15% off. Otherwise I don't think I would have sprang for it, but I am definitely looking forward to using it and it's pretty. I think it will just look nice on the days that I'm not using it, kind of like this. 
but probably it will gather dust also. I'll have to keep the lid on it, but the color is rosé on ice, which is actually kind of what it looks like. That's, um, that's pretty accurate. So that is everything that I purchased. This was a massive haul for me. I kind of hate that phrase. I hate that idea, but uh, I did make a big purchase and I'm looking forward to using all of these products. I probably won't be purchasing makeup for a little while, so I will have to enjoy it. But with the rest of the products, I'll let you know what I think about them, you know, some of the new ones. So please leave your comments below of what you're planning on purchasing or what you got during this sale and the new releases at Sephora that you're excited about. I want to hear. And that is all for me today. It was kind of a long video thanks to all this crap that I bought, but I will look forward to seeing you next time and thank you for watching. Bye.